Silicon Valley is beyond just its physical location. It's a mindset, it's a culture, it's a community of opportunity, it's a community of hope, it's a community of risk takers. If you wanna be in finance, you go to New York for Wall Street. You wanna be in the movie industry, you go to LA. And we have to say, if you wanna be in tech, come to Silicon Valley, come to the barrier. When I think about my mom and dad, I think about how my father and I, we always used to work on cars and go to the farm and get our hands dirty. And my mother has that entrepreneur type spirit and both inspire me to, to be myself, but work hard. For me, success is making an impact. I just want to help people. I took a different path coming to Silicon Valley. I came here not with a startup, I came here with a solution, an opportunity to make impact to create wealth, relationships, and education for people who look like me. At the time, in 2011, the community, the tech community, said it was a meritocracy. It didn't matter where you come from, what you look like, it's an equal level playing field for everyone. And it was a lie. It was a flat out lie. So when I came, there was a huge culture shock. I would go days, maybe see one or two other black people that work in tech. It was an emotional drain. It became depressing. It, it was a wake up call. And I had to really dig deep and start working on self care, my confidence, to know and believe that I deserve to be here just like everyone else with an idea or a dream or with a passion to create the next great startup or a program that can educate and impact underrepresented entrepreneurs. Today, I'm the co-founder and CTO of Change Catalyst. We focus on creating an inclusive and an innovative tech ecosystem for everyone. We host the Tech Inclusion Conference, Career Fair, and Startup Showcase across the world. And so we created a conference so the conference can not just educate people around inclusion, around innovation, building products with diverse teams, but also let people feel it, let people experience inclusion. There's several tech companies in San Francisco and Silicon Valley. You can walk in, you're lucky if you see one black person, one Latino person, who is not a security person. There are literally people who work in tech who we have glorified in some of these positions, CEOs, executives, we read about in Forbes, Bloomberg, but yet they don't know how to have a real conversation with someone who looks different than them. Just because I'm black, or I could be LGBTQTIA, I could be Muslim, I could be Indian. There's this notion that I can't be just as good as you. I'm not qualified to sit at the table, or I can't lead this company. That's not true. That's just not true. Not in 2017, not in America, not in this world. We want to show the world that when you have an inclusive tech industry, an inclusive tech culture, we have an inclusive hiring practice. Not only will you have a great company, not only will your profits soar, but it's the right thing to do.